This 24-year-old's colorful life sadly now left only in black and white. This lawsuit just filed in Ector County claims that Samantha Tijerina of Odessa had her life taken far too soon due to negligence on the part of health care workers at this Odessa facility, Basin Healthcare Center. According to the lawsuit, a little more than a year ago, she came to the center where she was also an employee because her stomach hurt. It was determined she had gallstones, so two days later, her gallbladder was removed. Afterwards, she reportedly had some pain, so she was encouraged to stick around. These medical records provided to us by the law firm show that vital signs were taken on Tijerina up until 2400, more commonly known as midnight. After that, nothing. Wrongful death incidents are perhaps the most uh, horrendous uh, incidents that can happen to not only the person who is uh, killed uh, or who dies in the incident, but also his family. And the recovery for uh, his or her family is the loss of not only that person's uh, financial support, if it's a breadwinner or someone who contributes to uh, the financial well-being of the family, but also, even if they do not, uh, it is the loss of the love, the support, the comfort, uh, the companionship of the person who passes away. Uh, as you could well uh, expect, the uh, family, uh, whether it's a spouse, a children, uh, parents of the uh, loved one who, who is killed or who dies, uh, is impacted greatly. Uh, they're left without a uh, loved one who would be there for all of uh, that loved one's life and who would contribute to uh, the well-being of the family and now they're gone. Uh, I have represented many uh, families, uh, whether they be parents or children or spouses in wrongful death accidents. Uh, I have represented them in both auto accidents and also medical malpractice cases. Uh, we have had cases involving uh, negligence of doctors or hospitals in which uh, clients who have uh, un undergone uh, seemingly uh, run-of-the-mill surgeries and not survived. Uh, I had one case where a um, middle-aged gentleman went in for a gallbladder surgery and uh, he had had previous surgery in his abdomen and there was scar tissue and the doctor elected to do a laparoscopic procedure where they go in with a small uh, probe and uh, do it under um, uh, visualization from a camera rather than opening the person up. And uh, this is not advised in a case where a person has scar tissue because the um, scope and the, uh, the trocars, the instruments that are put into the abdomen um, cannot uh, find the um, the area that needs to be uh, operated on as well as when you open somebody up. Uh, in this particular case, the doctor uh, stuck a um, trocar into the um, abdomen and uh, lacerated the, the uh, liver and uh, the gentleman bled to death on the operating table. Uh, in another case, we have a, uh, a young woman who had uh, lipo uh, liposuction surgery and uh, it was in an outpatient setting and she had uh, surgery to her arms, to her abdomen, uh, to her legs. Uh, and during the surgery, her blood pressure um, dropped precipitously. The anesthesiologist noted this, told the doctor, the doctor elected to go on with the surgery rather than calling 911. By the time uh, the emergency services were finally called and she was transported to the office, to the hospital rather, she passed away and I represented her son. Uh, we were able to collect uh, the $250,000 limit which is um, allowed in the state of California. Unfortunately, in medical malpractice cases, uh, you can only collect $250,000 for pain and suffering. No matter how many doctors are involved in the negligence uh, and no matter how many uh, loved ones are left without a parent or a spouse, the most you can collect is 250000 and this is very unfair, but we were able to collect that uh, after we filed a lawsuit and uh, went to court against this doctor. 
As far as wrongful death accidents um, involving car accidents, um, I have also represented numerous clients with regards to this. Um, uh, I was representing a family in a case that was uh, particularly sad. Um, there was a uh, family outing uh, out in Imperial County. Uh, they were in a van and a large uh, tractor trailer truck ran through a stop sign. Uh, when I took the uh, deposition of the driver of the tractor trailer truck, he said that he had bent down to change a CD uh, in the um, radio uh, and uh, he took his eyes off the road for a second, went through a stop sign, hit the van in a T-bone type of accident, particularly terrible accident. Uh, the impact uh, almost severed the middle of the van um, and flipped it over. Uh, a grandmother was killed and uh, her 20-year-old um, grandson was killed as well. Uh, we could not agree with the uh, insurance company for the uh, truck as to the value of their cases and they ended up going to trial down in El Centro and we got a fairly good recovery, uh, probably not as much as we would have gotten in Los Angeles uh, down in um, El Centro and they're fairly conservative. But uh, nevertheless, we did go to trial and we were able to get more than they were offering. Um, but the main thing to remember in a wrongful death case is, uh, if you're the attorney, is you have to document the relationship between the deceased person and his loved ones who are bringing the case. Uh, you can do this through uh, diaries that the, the uh, heirs may keep. Uh, you can do this through family uh, videos, through photographs, um, through a day in the life presentation where you show the family uh, as it was uh, when the uh, deceased was alive and, and, and how it is now. Uh, what you have to do is you have to show that loss. And when you do that, it, it helps settle the case with the insurance company or helps persuade the jury that uh, it was a substantial loss. I had another case. Um, uh, involving wrongful death, uh, I had a young uh, lady who was in a vehicle. Uh, she was going to the DMV and uh, a um, shell truck driver uh, went through a stop sign and smashed into the car um, and her injuries were horrendous. She suffered a fractured skull and the brain was actually exposed. Um, by the time she got to the hospital, she was deceased. I represented the father um, who had been long estranged from the family. Uh, he had never married the mother uh, and had not seen the daughter for 20 years. Uh, and uh, when he finally came back into her life, probably about a year and a half before the accident which caused her death, she had gone through many, many problems with drugs. She'd been in rehab uh, several times and uh, she just could not kick her habit. Fortunately, the father, uh, who I represented, had been through rehab himself and had become a drug counselor. When he came back into her life, and it was a fortuitous circumstance that he just happened to bump into the mother in a market and they started talking and uh, he ended up reconnecting with the daughter. Um, he became a vital part of her life. He saw her every week. Uh, he helped her with her drug problems. He counseled her. He got her into a program uh, which was more successful. And the last six months of her life uh, were the best six months that she'd had for years because she was clean and she, things were looking up. She'd gotten a new job uh, and the, the whole future was ahead of her. And uh, as far as my client was concerned, the father, he had found a daughter that he had never known. Uh, so when she was snatched uh, from his life at this seemingly wonderful moment that had come, uh, it was just a terrible, terrible thing. Um, we brought a case against Shell, and uh, we represented the father. We did not represent the, the mother, uh, but we did represent the father, and we were able to collect uh, over a million dollars in settlement, which was divided between the uh, mother and the father. Uh, but these are the types of cases where, you know, sometimes 
they hinge on little things. And uh, by us showing that the uh, father had come back and he, he'd redeemed himself in the eyes of his daughter and he had this great loss, we were able to establish that there were uh, substantial damages that he should collect against the insurance company for the uh, truck.